Welcome, parents and friends. We are happy to be here to celebrate this graduation. <clears throat> graduation is a time of joy and sadness, excitement and tears, eagerness and reluctance. Let us celebrate our togetherness. Our lives are built on memories and shaped by the future. It is up to each of us today as we prepare to take a step into our future lives to reflect on the significant moments of our lives as well as the significant people who have helped us reach this moment. As we gather, gather around the table of the Lord, we remember the past, hope for the future, and ask the Lord's assistance in our lives. And I'd just like to add my own welcome to that lovely welcome that the, uh, we, we received there a moment ago. Uh, conscious again that uh, parents can't be here, but they're tuned in via the webcam. Thanks uh, again to David. And it's wonderful that the school can organize it like this. Now, you've been um, outside playing uh, after you have had your break, and you're full of excitement of the running around the yard, and then you might be anxious about, will this go well? Will we make mistakes? So that's all to disappear. We are here now as people who believe in Jesus and who are offering our prayers to God the Father who loves us. So remember that you personally are going to offer these prayers to God with the, everybody else, with me and with everybody else, all the members of your class and your teachers and your parents at home who will be joining in as well. And we begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you all. Now, coming together as God's family, with confidence we ask the Father's forgiveness, for he's full of gentleness and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O 
God, you have taught your church to keep all the heavenly commandments by loving you and loving our neighbour. Grant us a spirit of peace and grace, so that your entire family may be devoted to you wholeheartedly and united in purity of intent. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Now we sit down and we have uh, two lovely readings uh, for the Mass today. The first is from uh, the prophet Jeremiah. Now it's important when you're at Mass to try to listen carefully uh, to the readings. Just, just hold on a second. Then. Don't, don't go yet. So did, sorry, what are we doing now? We offer a pond to symbolize how we have been growing together. We present a cross and Bible symbolizing our commitment to following Jesus. We present our artwork and a musical instrument to symbolize our creativity. We bring a football which reminds us how important teamwork is at play, at home and in school. We offer our lives with the bread and wine. So just hold on to the bread and wine for the moment. Just hold on to that for the moment. Okay. Now you can go back to your places. That was the first mistake made by me. So you see, we don't worry about it. Uh, so we're going to move on now to the reading. So um, if you, you can sit down and I'll call you up uh, with the bread and the wine uh, at the appropriate time. Now again, just forget that for a moment. And we're going to listen to God's word to us and try and pick out, it might be only a word or it might be only a part of a line. But that's God speaking to you when you gather like this. So our first reading now is read by Sophie. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. The Lord has this to say to you today. I have loved you with an everlasting love and I am constant in my affection for you. I will build you up and protect you in good times and in bad. So be happy and go forth in the dancing of the merrymakers. I have plans in my heart for you. Plans for peace, not disaster. Plans to give you a future and a reason to hope. And remember, when you call upon me and come and pray to me, I will hear you. You will seek me and find me. When you seek me with all your heart, I will be found by you. The word of the Lord. Thanks.
reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I never stop thanking God for all the graces you have received through Jesus Christ. I thank him that you have been enriched in many ways, especially in your teachers, parents, and preachers. The witness to Christ has indeed been strong among you, so that you will not be without any gifts of the Spirit, who will keep you steady and without blame until the last day, the day of the Lord Jesus Christ, because God, by calling you, has joined you to his Son, and God is beautiful. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory, hallelujah, praise God, hallelujah, 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 glory, hallelujah, praise God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him and make our home with him. Make your home in me as I make mine in you. You are my friends if you do what I command you. What I command is to love one another. Go out to the whole world and proclaim the good news to all creation. The one who believes and is baptized will be saved. The Gospel of the Lord. Glory, hallelujah, praise God, hallelujah, 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 glory, hallelujah, praise God. Now we can sit down. Now, during the COVID time, Mass is a, a little bit different. We have to cut down and we can't sing together. And I find that uh, uh, very difficult to be at Mass and not being able to sing with everybody else. Uh, but we have to make these sacrifices for it. Now, the Mass today, for you, is a very important time uh, in your life, as, as was mentioned in the introduction there. Uh, you're passing through one phase to another. Yesterday was the 21st of June, the solstice day, the longest day of the year. And it's a, a reminder to us all that time keeps turning around. And the same is happening in your life. You came in here as a little infant, you didn't know what to expect, and then you gradually became aware of what happens in the school, you got to know friends, you got to know different teachers, and here you are graduation and this is the way your life turns around so it's important for you to try to reflect on that as best you can and to understand what happened to you here uh, in in the school in Ratmore first of all do you ever say to yourself I'm so lucky to have a school like the school in Ratmore uh, because if you were reading uh, any of the um, material that came out from Trocra at the beginning of Lent. There was a, a, a doctor there writing to thank the people of Ireland for contributing at Lent because it meant for him that when he was a young boy in Africa, somebody came along with a bag full of pencils that didn't, didn't even have pencils. They used to write on the dirt in the ground when they were at school. 
Now, yesterday we had a game of rounders over there, and uh, we had three tennis balls starting off. We ended up with one, because two balls, inverted commas, got lost. Now, so, in other words, it's an example of we take for granted what we have here. And you probably take for granted as well that you have a school that you're sitting on chairs and that you get food during the day. We take all that for granted. A lot of boys and girls don't have it. So when you are graduating like this, you have to, to remember that that is the way things are for an awful lot of, of people uh, in the world. To have this school going as we do, and again, you should be reflecting on this, somebody has put an awful lot of work into it. First of all, to, to make the, build the school, and it couldn't be built unless the people of the parish and the parents put money into it. So they had to put mon their hand in their, into their pocket. You probably don't realize that the school is here, and there's all sorts of rules and regulations to be followed, which the principal of the school has to try to operate, but she can't do that unless the board of management are with her. And that means that men and women of your parish, some of them are your parents, they meet on a regular basis, they don't get any payment for it, they give up their time, and they put an awful lot of time into making sure that things happen for you in the right way. And you have the Parents Association, who meet regularly to get funds so that you have whiteboards and all the new stuff that you have in the classroom. So it's an opportunity for you to think in that way and say, well, I, am I going to be like that when I grow up? Am I going to be concerned with the people in my parish and that I will try to be, be part of the group of people who care for others in that particular way? Now, people are going to be telling you of the big change that's going to happen in your life when you go into the secondary school and so on. And of course, it's a big change. But you're, you're going to be well able for it because you learned an awful lot of things here in this school. Now, I hope that the, the most important thing you learned is that God loves you and God will always love you. And that's what that first reading is saying. I have loved you with an everlasting love. That's our God. And that's why it's important when we're working with the NOAA program uh, and we are discussing, does God exist? Is there a God there at all? How, did, how does the world continue to operate? And, and it's, it's so finely balanced. And uh, there are things that we have to think about. But you have been learning all that here in the school. And it's important that you are a person who thinks you, are a, you have to be the gift of a mind. Use that mind to come to know God and to try to do what Jesus says in the second reading, in the, third, in the gospel there, to go out with that good news that that's the sort of God that we have. The second reading talks about the great gifts uh, that you have been given. The gifts of your, you've been blessed with gifts, your parents, your teachers, and your community where you live. We've all been blessed in this particular way. So on this day of your graduation, gather all that together. Now you have to do it, to, you should be doing it together and supporting one another. This is, this is what love is, supporting one another, looking after one another. Even sometimes when it's, you might not want to do it, but it's the right thing to do. And you're living in this digital age. We're talking about pencils and writing on the ground and losing a couple of tennis balls. But you're living in the digital age when you can go to your computer and you can reach the far end of the world from where you are. It's a wonderful gift that we have, but it is also a terrible danger. And people's lives have been destroyed by it. So you have to remember, you have the power of using that in the right way or the wrong way. So there's, a, there's a big, huge future there for you, and please God, you will choose to, to use it in the right way. So we ask God now we, to accept our thanks for all that's happened to you over the last, how many years are you here now? Seven, eight? Yeah, okay. We thank God for all those, 
all the people who put so much work into you, the people who looked after you when you were playing sports and so on, giving up their time to do that. We thank God and ask him to bless them in a very special way. And to give you the help that you're going to need when you move into a new phase of your life. And to bless you and to give you the confidence to do that. And I'm telling you that you will be well able to handle the situation that as it arises in your new school. Because there you will, meet, you will leave behind some old friends. This is where the 21st of June reminds us the days will be getting shorter. You can't hold it back. But we can be making new friends. And you will be making new friends and you'll find that very, very good. You will be the influence for good that Jesus talks about in the gospel there. Now we might have uh, our prayer of the faithful. We can stand now for this, please. So with great confidence now we ask the Lord to listen to our prayers this morning. For Pope Francis as he tries to renew the church and for our own Archbishop Dermot who teaches us how much we are loved by God. Lord hear us. Lord hear us. We pray for peace throughout the world. We pray for peace throughout the world in our country in our community and in our families. We pray in a special way for the people of Syria, the Middle East and the many places in Africa where war continues. Lord hear us. We pray that we who will receive the sacrament of confirmation this year will live good lives and be brave enough to be witness for you. Lord hear us. Lord, we pray for people in need who long for peace, food and shelter. Let us never forget to be thankful for the many blessings we have in our life. Lord, hear us. Lord, grace we pray for the many Christians who are suffering and dying because they are followers of Jesus. Lord, hear us. Lord, grace we, pray, we pray for our parents. We thank them for all their love and care. Grant that we and they may always have the light and strength of your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracefully hear us. We pray for all our teachers who down through the years have helped us and supported us during our time in Rathmore National School. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracefully hear us. We also pray that we, who will be starting secondary school, will continue to be happy in school and experience success. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Um, we pray for all those who have died. We remember especially the deceased, re the deceased relatives and friends of all here present. May we all be reunited one day in the happiness of heaven. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For a moment now we pray for our own very special intentions and we'll include in that now anybody from the parish who is sad today and anybody who is ill and in pain Lord hear us we offer these and all our prayers through Christ our Lord now we'll have the bread and the wine brought up
Now again, if you remember at this part of the Mass, I poured in the cruise of wine into the chalice and on top of that a little drop of water and you will remember that that drop of water represents us it becomes mixed with the wine and can't be taken away again and our prayers and our offerings are mixed with the offerings of Jesus uh, through the mass let us pray now that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father O oh God, you renew us in your image through your sacraments and your commandments. Mercifully guide our footsteps in your paths, and through these sacrificial offerings which we bring, we may possess the gift of charity for which you have taught us to hope through Christ our Lord. Uh, there will be a little response during the first part of this, mass, this uh, prayer. It's, it's uh, Hosanna in the highest. God, our loving Father, we are, we are glad to give you thanks and praise because you love us. With Jesus we sing your praise, Hosanna in the highest. Because you love us, you gave us this great and beautiful world. With Jesus we sing your praise, Hosanna in the highest. Because you love us, you sent Jesus, your Son, to bring us to you and to gather us around him as the children of one family. With Jesus, we sing your praise, Hosanna in the highest. For such great love, we thank you with the angels and saints as they praise and say, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed be Jesus whom you sent to be the we can maybe stand for this part. Blessed be Jesus whom you sent to be the friend of children and of the poor. He came to show us how we can love you, Father, by loving one another. He came to take away sin which keeps us from being friends and hate which makes us all unhappy. He promised to send the Holy Spirit to be with us always so that we can live as your children. God our Father, we now ask you to send your Holy Spirit to change these gifts of bread and wine into the body and blood of Jesus Christ our Lord. The night before he died, Jesus showed your son to, Jesus your son showed us how much you love us. When he was at supper with his disciples, he took bread and gave you thanks and praise. Then he broke the bread, gave it to his friends and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, Jesus took the cup that was filled with wine. He thanked you, gave it to his friends, and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. As so loving Father, we remember that Jesus died and rose again to save the world. Now you can sit down now for this, and the response this time will be, we praise you, we bless you, we thank you. We praise you, we bless you, we thank you. He put, Jesus put himself into our hands to be the sacrifice we offer you. We praise you, we bless you, we thank you. Lord our God, listen to our prayer. Send the Holy Spirit to all of us who share in this meal. May this Spirit bring us closer together in the family of the Church with Francis our Pope and Dermot our Bishop, all other bishops and all who serve your people. We praise you, we bless you, we thank you. Remember, Father, our families and friends and all those we do not love as we should. Remember all those who have died. Bring them home to you to be with you forever. 
We praise you, we bless you, we thank you. Gather us all together into your kingdom. There we shall be happy forever with the Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and our Mother. There all the friends of Jesus the Lord will sing a song of joy. We praise you, we bless you, we thank you. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We stand now. Guimish Khan Anahar, Fame Aravuin, or Slon Hor doing a Yenov. Or Nahar, a Tor and Yav, Go Ne for Tanum, Go Daga to Riot, Go Nyen to the Hull and Talav, Marayenter Ern Yav. Or Naron Lehul, Tor doing a Yenov, Agasmad doing our Vika, Mar Iwahimichna, Darvakuna Fame. Agus na lekshin ega hu, agsershin o olk. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen.
One of the things we learn at school is how to pray, and it's very, very difficult to pray well. But it can be easier when we gather for Mass. But even there, our minds are still all over the place. So that's why it's important after Holy Communion, and I hope you will remember this, uh, to use the exercise, we call it the altar exercise, to organize your mind into areas of prayer. A-L-T-A-R, altar. So the first little prayer will be a prayer of adoration, adoring God, the wonderful creator. L, love, that you make an act of love to God who loves you so much. T, that you make an act of thanksgiving to God for everything he's given you. A, you ask God to look after the people you love and look after yourself. And or then to say you repent, you're sorry for the times that you weren't as good as you were. So close your eyes there now for a moment and see can you uh, get going on that again. And so we stand now for our final prayer of the Mass. May the sacrament of your Son, which we have received, increase our strength, we pray, O Lord, that from this mystery of unity we may drink deeply of love's power and everywhere promote your peace through Christ our Lord. Now, just to say that uh, we have fixed a date, you probably know already, for confirmation, which will be the 11th of September. So you'll have left the school and you'll be in your new post-primary school, uh, whatever that is. But I think this is good, because sometimes people feel that people are forced into being confirmed. So it definitely will be your decision whether you come back to be confirmed or not. Now, that's important, because you have to make up your own mind about an awful lot of things. And while your parents may wish you to be a person of prayer and so on, you have to make that choice, that decision yourself. So, but please God, and I will see you all on the 11th of September. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads now and ask for God's blessing. May Almighty God always keep every harm far from you and in his kindness pour out upon you the gifts of his blessings. Amen. May God keep your hearts attentive to his words that they may be filled with everlasting gladness. May you always understand what is good and right and be found ever hastening along in the path of God's commands made co-heirs with the citizens of heaven. August Spirit Nave. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Go now in peace together today. Jesus is here in a very special way. Tell all you meet that he is gentle and kind. Praise him and love him in body, soul, and mind. Go in peace. Go love. Go in joy. Every girl and boy. Go in peace. Go love. Go in.
Thank everybody for having the place so lovely and so well organized and our beautiful music and Paul for having uh, the hall here great. Thank you very much. Good morning everyone and a very special welcome to our sixth class graduation celebration. I want to begin by thanking Father Comer for celebrating Mass this morning and we are very grateful to our board member David Hickey for facilitating this live stream um, from our school community this morning into all your homes in the parish. I also want to acknowledge the beautiful singing provided by Miss Gleeson and the musical accompaniment by Miss Rowe. In fact, we need to acknowledge all the teachers in Rathmore, our SNAs, Paul, our school caretaker, Martina, our secretary, our chairperson of the board, Jerry Martin, and all the other members of the board who have joined us to mark this special rite of passage in your lives. Thanks also to Sandra Courtney, chairperson of the Parents' Association, and to John and Noreen Doyle of Hainstown Meats for generously providing the food which will be served up to all these VIPs tomorrow by Paul and Martina in, during the school day. Another year has passed, but despite the COVID-19 pa pandemic, it is wonderful to have the school open and to have all the children in Mr. Collier's sixth class present here today, because that wasn't the case this time last year. I was looking back and I remember coming to visit the school in June 2019 and calling into all the classrooms to visit the children here in Rathmore. And when I visited your class, which was fourth class back then, Mr. Jemison asked if any pupil had a question for me. One of you, and you know who you are, put up your hand and asked, will you be making any drastic changes, Miss Travers? Well, what a prophetic question that was because it's safe to say now that our world has changed since the 12th of March 2019 and we as a school are sorry that your last two years in Rathmore in fifth and sixth classes has been disrupted and that many public health measures which were introduced prevented you taking part in some of the events and activities that make your last year here so special. I am thankful however that the year is finishing on a much more positive note, and we look with hope to the future. During the time you have been here in Rathmore, I've been very impressed by the manners you have shown to me, to other teachers in the school, and to any visitors or coaches that did um, work with you during this year. And especially the kindness and support and your class spirit that you have shown to your classmates during very difficult times this past year. These are lovely qualities and it's important that you bring these with you as you move into secondary school. Special thanks to your teacher, Mr. Collier, for teaching you in sixth class this year and preparing you so well for your transition now into secondary school in his own calm way. And I know like me, he has felt somewhat shortchanged by our school closure last year and again this year in January and February. 
Looking back, and it only seems a while ago, that you were junior infants, nervously starting school. And now look at you, big sixth class, ready to go to secondary school, almost teenagers in some cases. So looking back on your eight years with us, I can see you began in junior infants with Miss Thompson. You were taught by Miss Brady in senior infants. That was followed by first class with Miss Mooney, second class with Miss Lancaster, third with Miss Mooney again, fourth class with Mr. Cronin, last year in fifth you were taught by Miss Malone, and finally sixth class with Mr. Collier. So we thank all the teachers of Rathmore who have worked with you during your time in the school to this day. So I'm sure some of you can't wait to move on to secondary school, but maybe there are some of you a little nervous too about the prospect of being junior infants all over again in your chosen secondary school. Because there'll be lots of new things, new, new people to meet, new subjects, new teachers, new timetables, and finding a way around new corridors and school buildings. But let me assure you that it is quite normal and it's okay to have those feelings because we've all been there and experienced those feelings too. This is a big time of change for you, and while it is very exciting, it can be a little scary, even for adults. You have had to adapt, in particular, to huge changes during these past two years. And I want to commend you for your resilience and your willingness to adapt to all the new arrangements we had to put in place in school, and to your participation in the remote learning all of which will stand to you in the years ahead. I know it's been tough to be at home during two periods of lockdown and not being able to meet up with your friends in school, and you have to have to sacrifice some of the events you are probably looking forward to. But thankfully, confirmation will now take place on Saturday the 11th of September. We did enjoy a school tour while in school, and we had an action-packed sports day last week. And I'm even reliably informed that the ice cream van has now arrived on the premises. So we would have wanted your parents to be here with us today, but we have managed to build on last year, and we will be having the soccer match against the teachers in the afternoon, and we will be having the guard of honour on your last day, officially, on Friday. So all the friends you have made on the first day you started in Rathmore until you leave on Friday. They will always be your friends. Some of you will be saying goodbye as you believe to begin at sec different secondary schools, but I do hope that you will all try and keep in touch with your Rathmore friends as well. In your new schools, you will make new friends, and many of which you will keep for years after. You will find out your subjects and what teachers you like and who you dislike. For some of you, this will help you decide what you want to study or work at in the future. You may even discover talents you didn't know you had. So this is the time to have fun now and have a go at all the new activities and challenges that come your way. To be creative, but to above all, to be happy and to do your best. The varied experiences you've had in Rathmore over the last eight years, I know they will stand to you in your new schools and like last year, any secondary school principals that I've spoken to are always delighted to welcome sixth class pupils coming and joining them from Rathmore. So that is a big compliment to our school and to the pupils that come from sixth class. To all your parents and families, I want to say a big thank you and well done for staying the course over these last two years, as we can all appreciate how challenging homeschooling has been at times, and that's even for the teachers. For some of the families this morning, this will be the end of your time with us in Rathmore, and I would like to thank you for your support to the school over the years. On behalf of everyone associated with the school, we wish you the very best for the future. So sixth class, it's important to remember that this is the start of a new chapter in your lives, but I think you are more than ready for it. It is really important to celebrate and remember the achievements and successes in Rathmore and to be positive and hopeful about your future. You can be anything you want to be. You can learn new skills, try new things you've never tried before. So whatever your hopes and dreams are, 
Make sure they are not limited and give the best to everything you want to achieve in life. We all know the value of reading and books. So I have a little story here and it's titled The Tale of You Hopping Into Life. And it's based on the tale of Peter Rabbit, written by Beatrix Potter. This version has a few words of wisdom as you leave the safe borough of Rathmore National School. So now that you are fully grown, it's time for you to set off on your own. So run along, my little bunnies, and don't get into any mischief. Make sure you stop to gather all the sweet things life will offer you along the way. Then take a chance, squeeze under the gate and discover somewhere new. And nibble here and nibble there. Make sure you taste life to the fullest. Just remember, you can have too much of a good thing. You never know who you might meet around the corner. And not everyone is a friend, so you need to be quick on your feet. Sometimes you may lose your way, and sometimes life may catch you by surprise. It's all right to cry, but don't give up. Take a deep breath, summon your courage, and wriggle free. And if you need to hide away for a bit, that's okay. Hold tight until you're ready to face the world again. You'll arrive at many doors, some open and some close. But no matter what happens, we know that you will find your way. And if you ever long to come back to Rathmore, we will all be here with an open door, a listening ear and a smile. So on that note, I want to finish by congratulating each and every one of you on your special achievement today for working so hard all year and reaching this moment while acknowledging your parents, your families, your friends and everyone in our school community who have helped and supported you along the way. Slán agus gnairi an And I'm going to call now on your teacher, Mr. Collier, to add his few words this morning. Um, uh, hello, everyone, um, both present and anyone watching in as well. Um, for the sake of my own nervousness, I'm imagining that no one's on the camera watching at all, but I'll just say hello anyway, just in case. Um, last year, we did this ceremony, like Ms. Trevor said, with no children present at all. So um, it is great to have six class here this year, on one hand. On the other hand, the usual reactions I get from this sixth class when I speak are eye rolls, sighs, and comments like, that's not funny, sir. So um, maybe I'd be better off if I couldn't see any of the, re the reactions down there this year. Um, but on a serious note, and I was only talking to Miss Malone about this morning before school, actually, having had six classes for the first time last year, it is great this year to have such a kind of normal end of year process and graduation. Uh, school tour, sports days, graduation ceremony in, purple, in person, uh, end of year soccer match and all that, it's, um, it makes a massive difference and um, I'll never take any of that sort of thing, you know, the normal rites of passage for granted again and um, it's really you know, great to be able to do it all this year. Um, to talk about what six class are like themselves, you know, the class were um, extremely quiet, uh, very, didn't really talk much. Uh, it's hard to get much words out of them. Never spoke. Sorry. Sorry, that's a speech I'm writing for another class. Sorry. Um, where's the. Oh, sorry, this class. No, all that's not true, actually. Um, but while it wasn't true, that would just make for a much more, um, much more boring year. And this year was never boring, anyway, to say the least, which is the best part about this job. Um, I know myself, if the class ever does get quiet, I probably just start something just to get them going again and then regret it five minutes later but um, there's too much potential for fun to happen to leave quietness in the room I think myself. Um, I know from the start of the year on our behalf teachers um, there was a lot of a lot of worry going in I know the day before here before it even started we've kind of been closed off from 
society for six months or whatever and worry about how it's going to go and you kind of want to get across how important it is to be careful for the children without putting that worry across in them either. And remember the first morning going through not touching other people's stuff and not passing it to other people without sanitizing and all that and then around five past nine Connor pulled Rory's jumper out of his bag and just said Rory here and just threw it across to him so uh, there was never too too much worry about the class being too worried anyway but they were always careful they knew their stuff and um, I think we sanitized hands after that and moved on anyway so <laughs> um, yeah, and look, I mean, there's things, you could write a book on the things that happen day to day to make the job great. I can, like I said, it's hard not to get involved in it yourself. I just took a couple of examples from the last couple of days. Friday we did a quiz. We said we'd take points off in the, in the quiz if people called out answers. Um, just because it always happens in quiz. Every time you ever do them, someone calls an answer out, even by accident. Um, but there was a question, what former Prime Minister in Britain was born in Dublin and earned the title the Iron Duke on the battlefield? I heard, I think, Sean whispered to Jack, or Jack whispered to Sean, uh, Boris Johnson. So I couldn't even help but laugh at that. Then Ushin got a question right and dabbed down the back of the room. And I had to just take a minute to see had I been accidentally put into a time machine to 2016. But after I realised I wasn't, you kind of have to draw attention to these things as well. They come up every day and try and make everyone as comfortable as possible. And um, sometimes you think even maybe the class gets too comfortable just before break time today, Luke said something to me, which I won't repeat, but, um, you know, I'd rather that than people afraid to speak their minds, so um, I, I'm still taken as a positive, even though uh, maybe the word wasn't meant in a positive way, but anyway, it wasn't a bad word, right? He just, yeah, just forgot where he was for a second, I think. Um, and like I said, look, those differences were in this year, not being able to pass stuff and all that, even... The mask was different. I didn't realise it until we were out doing bike safety and I had my mask off outside putting on sun cream away from everyone and I think it was Sophie Wondergar said to me how different I looked out my mask off and you forget it's on you but it, it's, it's strange too that you know, there's probably times this year where I was smiling underneath it or whatever and people didn't even realise so you know those things all had to be dealt with this year and the way the class did was amazing. And in a different year like this, it was just about making the most out of what we could do with the regulations that were there. And it was genuinely, like we spoke out in the staff room all the time with all the class, and especially your oldest class, to see how the class kind of adapted to the situation and just took everything in their stride. Um, it was really amazing to see. And things had to be done just in a different way. I suppose for September, October, November, it kind of felt like the class probably felt a bit like there were any other class, they weren't able to go mine classes, they weren't able to do some of the different things that sixth class would normally do and it was hard to kind of find ways to loosen the shackles or whatever and let them go and express themselves a bit. The first chance was probably um, Christmas play which is always a big moment for six and unfortunately this year we couldn't do it in front of a crowd but the way the class kind of applied themselves to like a video version and just the ideas they came up with were unbelievable and it was credit to them and Apart from a few bloopers here and there, which were well recorded, um, all those ideas were executed to perfection as well. And I think just, you know, that was the first chance I really got to see the true, like obviously the working class every day is brilliant. And like, I don't know, know if the class even realised how good they are at, at their general work, but that kind of showed the real potential of the class and it was something to be very proud of. And then the closure happened, which was very tough. But once we came back, it was like, it was like it never happened. Every school tour, sports days, again, they were different than other years, but the class really made the most out of those moments, and I think they enjoyed them and got everything they could out of them. Um, you know, even on sports day, we went right to the end, went right to the half two, doing tug of war. Can't remember who won that, actually. Um, yeah. I know whoever won anyway, they struggled over the line, they barely got there. I uh, don't know if it was boys or girls, but... Whoever won just barely got over the line, I know that. Um, you know, and even this week, even running the track this week, normally that would take under two minutes, but yesterday took the class around three minutes, 58 seconds, um, which was obviously just because they're just going to miss the track so much, and they just wanted to spend as much alone time with the track as possible, and definitely just wasn't because that they're the laziest shower. Anyway, um, <laughs> and, 
look all these end of year things another thing we did lately was finally got a proper class photo together um, all in our hoodies um, I said Miss Travers had said we do it the next day that everyone was in at one stage and at that stage everyone had been in most days for around three or four weeks up to that and then for the next week and a half it just so happened that there was a couple of people out every day during that week and a half I happened to make a bet with Rory that I wear <laughs> A Man United goalie jersey from 1992 for a full day during school. And then, of course, the day I happened to wear it in happened to be the day that everyone arrived in with their blue hoodies on, all 26. So now there's a class photo that will live on forevermore of 6th class 2021 where I'm wearing a Man United goalie jersey from 30 years ago. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Anyway. Um, and again, look, that brought us right up probably to this week where, again, there's more end-of-year things happening. The ceremony today, I mean, the class were excellent again, prepared brilliantly. The artwork is amazing. And even just the little things that it took basically one run through to go through positions for Bowen coming up here, taking a break before calling their response out to the congregation and that, and all those things that, you know, Another class, it might be a lot of work, and it's just, again, I don't know if the class even realise how, how good they are and how easy these things can be with a class like this, where you can just go through it once and they just get it, and that's that. Um, a lot of other things happen this week. There's a soccer later as well. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to play now because I issue with nerve damage or something. I don't know what it is. But um, the game is starting at 13.50, and I had big plans to have... Connor slide tackled into the far ditch by 13.51, but I think I'm going to have to referee now, so instead I just have to have Connor sent off the pitch by 13.51. Um, and again, this week there's more on rounders game tomorrow. Father Homer celebrated the Mass today, and he's able to come back again tomorrow to do a big end of your rounders game, which is brilliant. Friday then with Guard of Honor, and after school the class can bring in phones to take pictures to record the day, and. Um, Lily asked if I'd do TikTok. So, uh, don't you know what that is? I think it's something to do with a clock. Uh, or something like that. Anyway, I don't, but it's, I presume it's something I will be able to do. So I'm going to say a tentative yes, Lily. The only thing I know that I won't be able to do is, there was, I don't know who these girls were, but there was four girls out in Monterey Park there around five or six weeks ago, Mr. Cohen was telling me. And they were dancing in front of the phone. So if that's what TikTok is, I won't be able to do that. But if it's something different, yeah, I'll, I'll do that then. Um, and then that'll bring us to the end of the week um, finishing on Friday Tara said that she's a hundo percento going to cry on Friday which would be a sad note to end on but she also said she knows different people in the class will remain besties for the resties which, <laughs> which is a positive note to end on so I think we'll end on that positive note um, I'd just like to thank Miss Travers for all her help with setting up today Martina massive help with the booklet and sorting the art and laminating I know also Rita, Nora and Louise helped out with the laminating of the art too and Paul for setting up the hall here the place looks amazing um, and he did great work as he always does I thank all the other teachers who provided a lot of the pictures which will embarrass the class now in around 5 or 10 minutes um, there's, there's brilliant stuff there and I hope um, everyone gets a good gets good enjoyment out of that and after that I'd just like to thank David for um, all his help on this today it's amazing to be able to broadcast this out and I know from last year it went so well um, it was great to have that confidence knowing that it's going to be just as good this year and Father Comer again for celebrating the Mass and finally just to thank Sixth Class for providing me with despite the Covid stuff and all the rest of it with a brilliant year that was um, really really enjoyable and um, yeah, can't ask for any more from a class. So, well done, everyone, and hopefully, you're not too embarrassed by all the pictures. Thanks. So, thank you, Mr. Collier. Well said. Um, he really knows every one of you so well. Nothing like the class teacher to give the inside track of the class. Um, we're almost there. 
we've one more official duty to perform and that's the presentation of your graduation certificates so I'm going to call on chairperson of the board of management Jerry Martin to come up and to we'll go through and we'll call you up individually for the presentation of certificates and we might wait and do a bula bus maybe at the very end so starting with Ellen Berrigan Sophie Boyce Adam Craig Colin Critchlow Maria Curran Grace Dowling Kate Doyle Carla Fitzakri Rory Flynn Tara Flynn Luke Foley Alfie Goff Mia Granger Lily Harney Sophie Kelly Jack Madden Misha McGee Shauna Malone Connor Marin Jessica Nickel Adam Sargent Max Sargent Sean Tracy Oshin Tui And last but not least, Sean White Somebody that wasn't called Daniel Sargent. Right, well done. So, on that note, it falls on me to announce that Mr. Collier's sixth class of 2021 are officially graduated. Bula Bus.
just want to thank everyone who has joined us this morning. We're not quite finished yet. We're, we'll be showing our special tree planting ceremony that took place last week in the school. And I'd like to acknowledge um, the help of Yellow Furs Nursery, who generously donated the mountain ash tree that was planted out in the schoolyard. Um, and we had a special reflection by Adam Craig and Maria Curran. And we hope that the tree will flourish and grow and will stand as um, a remember, as a reminder of sixth class of 2021. And that will be followed then by a digital presentation to mark your years spent in Rathmore National School. So once again, thank you to Mr. Collier. Thank you to all our guests. And congratulations to sixth class 2021. Good morning everyone and welcome to our planning ceremony to mark graduation of our class of 2021. And we have Adam and Maria who are going to read out um, a, a message, a reflection on behalf of the class to mark the graduation of our mountain ash tree. Uh, Maria and I, and I are here to plant this tree on behalf of the graduating Rathmore National School 6th class of 2021. This tree signifies our years of past recruit in Rathmore and how it helped us to grow and flourish over the years. Now we're going to let's say, turn the sod onto the tree. Younger year when all our shadows disappeared, the animals inside came out to play. When face to face with all our fears, learned our lessons through the tears, made memories we knew would never fade. One day, my father he told me, Son, don't let it slip away. He took me in his 
Cause that's what friends are supposed to do Oh yeah I can't count on